me through from when you get to the venue in the morning, okay. you know, through your sound check, through showtime, until you get done with the gig. What's a day in okay. the life for you like? First thing I always did each morning was I would just walk into the venue and just kind of get the lay of the land. Mm -hmm. Specifically, I wanted to see the PAs mm -hmm. because we didn't carry PA for this tour. We right. only carried everything but. Right. But that was normally the biggest the biggest thing of the day was, was figuring out, okay, the PA is there, so we need to put his mic here. We normally would start rounding up stage hands and start doing the load-in. I would mic everything up, and then I would head out front, tip the console, uh, start you know component checking the PA, making sure everything is getting where it needs to get to. Myself and the front of house tech for the company that we were renting from that, for that show, we would start listening to the PA. We would start tuning, and uh, that would I would try to tune and be done by two o'clock. Normally, if I finished with a little bit of time uh, free, I would uh, you know run some tracks from the night before. Mm -hmm. I would try to do that for maybe thirty minutes, specifically hear how the drum kit input sound mm -hmm. and how you know guitars and vocals feel in the room. And then by that point, the band would show up at, at three. And uh, the band uh, sound checked without Sturgill for the first 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and then Sturgill would come out for the last 30, and we would you know do an hour, sometimes an hour 15 mm -hmm. worth of sound check, and and that was probably for me the the, the best part of this tour was yeah. that we had sound check every day, and he never missed sound check, and so um, that's what we would do from three to four, four fifteen ish, mm -hmm. and then uh, nights where we had an opener, opener sound check would start at five, and then yeah, then we were off till normally around nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. The show would normally start at nine. We'd be done around 11:10, 11:15. And I mean, it's constant. I mean, it's two hours of just high energy. It's one of the most enjoyable shows for me because the first hour and 15 minutes, there's no sound, there's no set list. Okay. So uh, we actually, it's different each night. Um, Sergio will look back at the drummer and band leader and, and call the next song. And we'd be done at 11 and uh, we'd wait for the crowd to kind of settle and then we'd be out of there normally by 12, 12, 15. And then we could, right. we could get out pretty fast and, right. and then bust a roll in the next venue. So. Wash, rinse, repeat. Yeah, man. <laughs> cool. Very much so.